Chips are a critical component to technological advancements. And here today to talk about the role OnSemi is playing in these innovations is Simon Keaton. He's EVP and General Manager of the Power Solutions Group at OnSemi. Thanks so much for joining me today, Simon. Thanks for having me. It's great to be here. So what would you say is the most important strategic initiative going on right now at OnSemi? Certainly. We have a couple of areas of secular growth that we're investing very heavily in, one of which is the electrification of the vehicle and providing solutions around EV, whether it be silicon carbide or insulated gate bipolar transistors. And so speaking of silicon carbide, that seems like the next hot thing in the chip sector. So talk to us about what exactly makes that technology superior to other similar chips. Silicon carbide has unique material properties that make it very good for very high voltage, very high efficiency, very high switching applications. That means it's great in things like a traction inverter. And traction inverters are what makes electric vehicles go. So it's uniquely qualified to provide the most efficient solution and the longest range when it comes to vehicles. Are there any issues uh, on the supply chain front that we should be aware of with silicon carbide? Or is this something that uh, is going to be plentiful for the foreseeable future, or, or how does that work? Certainly, it's not going to be as plentiful as silicon, and it's particularly hard to make. And one of the things that Onsemi has done is we've invested to be able to do bulls, wafering, epi, and devices ourselves. So it's a complete supply chain internal, and that way we can guarantee supply to our end customers. So it's a little bit more expensive than it sounds like, but the benefits outweigh the additional cost? Certainly. If you look at it at a chip level, silicon versus silicon carbide, silicon carbide inherently will be more expensive. But you put those devices into an automobile, into a traction inverter, and compare silicon versus silicon carbide, the system cost drops significantly with silicon carbide because you have such better efficiency from silicon carbide as compared to silicon. So automotive, it seems like, is the biggest area that OnSemi is playing in right now. What uh, different parts of the vehicle or that uh, EV ecosystem does OnSemi work in? So if you look at the, the complete vehicle from OnSemi perspective, we have the internal electrification of the powertrain, things like the traction inverter, the onboard charger, DC to DC, even 48 volt offboard chargers, but we also have our image sensors that allows for things like autonomous driving. And so with a safety system and electrification, which are the two fastest growth areas in automobiles, on some ends in a very unique position. So there's obviously a lot of players in the semiconductor sector and a number of them that have various components that are going into cars. How do you navigate that landscape when there are other players here, um, a lot of uh, partnerships on the uh, car manufacturer front? What are the sort of the dynamics at play there? Sure. If you take a look at it, competition is good. It helps drive innovation, and that, that's a good thing. But if you look at what we can offer, it's a very unique skill set. It's a very hard thing to do when you look at silicon carbide, for example. We're the only supplier that's completely vertically integrated as one example. And that's being seen by people like the OEMs, the car manufacturers themselves, and why we're having a lot more direct interaction with these car manufacturers, even doing supply agreements with the car manufacturers themselves. So is it fair to say that it's still pretty early days for uh, silicon carbide? And how do you see that unfolding over the next couple of years? I would say it's certainly early days for silicon carbide in EV. We're seeing it accelerate rapidly, even faster than we originally thought a couple of years ago. But the adoption rate has accelerated to the point where we've seen a tipping point by 2026, where it becomes more prevalent to have silicon carbide versus silicon. In the meantime, we're selling dual architecture solutions that have silicon and silicon carbide and helping customers make the transition on their time frame and their schedule. Uh, what other applications is uh, OnSemi working on for different endpoints in other industries? Certainly, if you look at different endpoints like industrial, for example, industrial deals with high power and power efficiency and how to transmit power very effectively. The same thing that helped for silicon carbide and electrification of vehicles applies to the industrial segment as well, particularly when it comes to solar or energy storage or energy transmission. And you can think of it as a complete circle, right? So on semi provides a complete solution. If you look at energy generation, whether it's wind or solar, we have a solution, energy storage, on semi has a solution. To transmission to the car, we have the solution. Off-board charging, 
onboard charging all the way to the traction inverter. So going from industrial all the way to automotive. So outside of automotive, what would you say is the biggest, has the biggest potential for growth? Outside of automotive, industrial has the second highest potential for growth. And that's why the vast majority of our investment and our revenue is particularly pointed to automotive and industrial. What would you say is the biggest key to unlocking growth at on semi in the next year to come? I think if you look at the next year to come to unlock that growth, it's having the supply chain is going to be critical, having superior technology, being able to scale very rapidly, and then being able to provide a complete holistic solution, whether it's automotive or industrial. It's not a point solution, it's solving the whole electrification of the vehicle or providing the solution for photovoltaic complete inverters. Fantastic. So when we think about production of chips, especially in the US, what does that look like for OnSemi? So if you take a look, we have a very distributed production network, including manufacturing facilities in the US and outside of the US. We're continuing to invest in the US. We've actually just acquired our 12 inch factory in East Fishkill, New York, and we'll continue to invest heavily across the US and the rest of the world. As OnSemi looks to the future, what would you think is the biggest opportunity for growth? Is it a, a new market? Is it uh, expanding geographically? Uh, is it expanding into a, a different business segment? What would you think is the biggest opportunity? Certainly over the next decade, I believe that the single biggest opportunity is electrification of vehicles followed by autonomous driving. If you think about it, our kids' kids certainly won't need to drive. The cars will drive themselves and those cars will all be electric. That is a massive fundamental change in the industry that we've never seen across 100 years. And so that is a, an extremely large secular market growing rapidly and it's going to change everything in a very short period of time. What is your top priority for 2023? Top priority for 2023 is all about execution. It's serving the customers, getting the parts in their hands and making sure that they can deliver what they need to their own customers as well. And what should investors be thinking about when it comes to the work that OnSemi is doing? I would say investors should be thinking about being a part of the largest secular growth area that I've seen in semiconductors in 25 years of being in the industry. We're right at the heart of it. When it comes to electrification, when it comes to image sensing, OnSemi is a very well positioned company and you can take part in it with us. Well, thank you so much for all of your insights today. Really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching Investors Business Daily on YouTube. If you wanna watch more videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing.